of dudes with attitude Kind of groovy Laid back moods Sky above, sand below Good vibrations Feeling mellow You're right, Jake. Insanity does run in the Winkle family. <laughs> we are not insane. We just signed up for ballet class. <laughs> Seriously, it's a whole new experience. A whole new world. Ah, a whole new way to meet babes. Oh, yeah. I don't know, guys. Sam and I signed up for ballet, too, and the girls in it are pretty classy. They're not really your type. Have they got lips? Yeah. That's our type. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can see the Winkle duo now, huh? A couple of tutu wearing Swan Lake drowning nutcrackers. <laughs> There's no way that anybody anywhere can ever get me to take a ballet class. <laughs> Actually, Tony, it'd be a chance for us to dance up close and personal in tights. Point and flex. And point and flex. <laughs> You Don't even think about it. Jake Summers doesn't do tights. Hey, Tiff, want to catch a movie tonight? No, thanks. I've got a date. Oh, yeah? Well, who is he? Where's he taking you? Does he kiss on the first date? Well, Dad, his name is Keith. We're going to Sharky's, and I certainly hope so. Excuse me, Jake, but you seem to be awfully interested in Tiffany's love life. Yeah, she's my friend. I don't want to see her get hurt. It's not like I'm following her everywhere she goes. Oh, well, OK, that's different. Hey, maybe we could double date. That way I can keep my eye on him. Thanks for your concern, Jake, but I think I can handle myself. Yeah, she'll be fine. Besides, I got a tickets for the Stones tonight. <laughs> oh, right, the Rolling Stones. It's excellent. Not the Rolling Stones, the Precious Stones. <laughs> it's a jewelry exhibit. They've got diamonds and rubies. Forget and it, Lorena. Really... You're always trying to get me to go to this stuff, and you know I hate it. Jake, those tickets were hard to get. Well, it might have been different if you at least asked me if I wanted to go. OK, would you like to go? No. <laughs> Sometimes you're such a classless ape. Hey! Who are you calling an ape? Anybody want a banana? Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Bonjour, class. I am Madame Fosse, your instructor. Let's line up and begin with the positions. First position, and <laughs> This is for babies. Let's get to the tough stuff already. <laughs> Have you been studying ballet for a long time? Are you kidding? I'm a regular rum. Uh, a regular, uh, what do you call those guys that are really good at ballet? Um, a prima donna? Yeah, I'm one of those. <laughs> okay, now let's try something fun. It's called the flying hop. You travel, push up with one foot, and elevate. Let's all try it. And one. Oh, this is great. I feel so light, so airy, so free. <laughs> Très bien. Now let's line up again. We are going to try some plié. First position and... Psst. All right. <sighs> Later, Jake. I'm busy. Big motocross race. Santa Ana, 4 o'clock. Let's go. No, I'm dancing. Come on. I can't believe you pass up a bike race for some fufu aerobics. Hey, don't make fun of my interests. How can you even call them interests? There's nothing interesting about them. <laughs> what? What'd I say? <laughs> hey, Jake, uh, listen here. If you're going to join the class, make sure you get the right size leotards, because these things can really ride up on you, you know? <laughs> Tiff, I really need to talk to you. I don't know what to do about this anymore. I mean, Lorena is driving me completely wacko. <laughs> Am I interrupting? Well, Jake, That's OK. You're obviously bummed and need to talk, so just 
Open up, okay? Because we're here for you. <laughs> Jake Summers, meet Keith Dell. Teen radio shrink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've heard your show. Keith Dell, he's the best when you're depressed. <laughs> Talk to us, Jake. What's going on? Oh, my, my girlfriend always wants me to do this stupid stuff, and then she gets mad at me for not wanting to do it. Well, you know, Jake, like I always say on my show, a good relationship requires compromise. Hey, I'm all for compromise. I'm just not doing her stupid stuff. <laughs> I see. And could that be because you haven't completely committed your heart to the relationship? Man, you are good. <laughs> all right, maybe I have held back a bit. I, I guess I haven't wanted to risk getting hurt since Tiffany and I broke up. Oh, well, that's nah. You two used to date? Uh, yeah, until she decided to burn me by cheating on me. Hey, you weren't the only one that got hurt, bucko. Oh, I guess I was the one who kissed another guy at the prom. Well, I wasn't the one who wanted to break up. Do you guys realize what's going on here? Yeah, we're both still mad at each other. No, you both still love each other. <laughs> you know, on second thought, maybe the two of you are still mad at each other. And maybe I'll just go call myself. I... So where does this leave us? And no way was I gonna kiss Tiffany. I mean, I I'm still with Lorena. You see how full my grand plie is? <laughs> Look, man, Tiffany broke my heart. And I, I swore I'd never let that ever happen again. No way. Stand very stiff now, right here. Yeah. I gotta forget about Tiffany. I, I have to make it work with Lorena. You got very strong arms, Jake. Oh, knock it off. I'm sorry, but my soul has bonded with the beauty of ballet. Well, I need you to listen to me. Well, can I at least stretch? No! Look, it's obvious. You want Tiffany back, but you're afraid to get hurt. But then again, you want things to work out with Lorena, but you don't know how, but most important, I want to dance, so excuse me! That's a fast person to cough. Look, I want to make it work with Lorena! Well, then you got to do the things that she likes, okay? You got to make an effort to share her world. You know, Tony, you're right. Hey, guys. Hey. There she is, the most beautiful woman in town. Not in the world, in the universe. Forget it. I am not going to the mud wrestling playoffs. Uh, I'll come trip. See, it would give me the greatest thrill I've ever known if you would accompany me to the mall. The mall? Yes, I hear they have a new, uh, shoe store. Shoe shopping. What, do you need a new pair of pumps to compliment your leather jacket? <laughs> oh, you make me laugh. <laughs> Shall we? And now, back to me. <laughs> so, uh, very good. <laughs> what do you say you two and uh, us two go to Paradise Cove for a little uh, private dancing, you know? Cute, but we think you're just here to pick up girls. Us? Never! <laughs> well, all right. We'll go out with you guys. But only if you prove you're serious about ballet. <laughs> Excuse me, my light-footed friends. I have decided to put on a recital to showcase my humble talent. And as choreographer and star, I'm happy to say that there are roles for all of you ballerinas. Cause this is perfect. If we're in that show, then the girls will know we're serious about ballet. <laughs> hey, uh, Antoine, uh, naturally, you want us in it too, right? Sorry. The week's ballet is for one man, five women, and no winkles. <laughs> Tony, do you think you might be taking this ballet stuff too fast? I mean, most stars study for years and years. This is your second class. You can be my co-star. Congratulations. Lorena, are you okay? Do you need to call Keith Dell, Teen Radio Shrink? <laughs> no, I'm okay, Sam. I'm just worried about me and Jake. I told him I wasn't happy, and now he's going overboard, trying to share every little thing I do. That doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> I stand 
corrected. <laughs> <laughs> Get a load of twinkle toes. Oh, Those ow! fights are so you. <laughs> ow! Thanks. Now kick. Jake, what are you doing here in tights? Hey, you like ballet? I like ballet. I want to share this with you. Oh, now I've heard everything. You want to study ballet? Absolutely, and uh, no need to hold back. I'm a fast learner, so uh, start with something tough. Okay. Try this. All right, Lorena, now I really know what I'm doing here. What? Making an idiot of myself. Well, I never asked you to come here and embarrass me. Oh, I'm prancing around in tights and you're embarrassed? Yeah, now everyone sees what a joke our relationship has become. What'd I do wrong? Well, for starters, your tights are on backwards. Wrong. I know we can make things good again. I mean, there's no reason why my life cannot be perfect with Tiffany. I mean, Lorraine, perfect with Lorraine. I love Lorraine! <laughs> Lorena, I'm home. Hey, Jakey, guess what I got? Oh, no. Not tickets to the ballet. Ballet? That's just foo-foo aerobics. These tickets are for tonight's Cuban cigar convention. Hariba! But what about our son, little Jakey? I mean, where are we going to find a babysitter at this hour? Hey, Jake, it's your favorite babysitting landlords. Perfect. Well, how did you know? Lorena asked us. She thinks of everything. That's my girl. He's called us for a song. Babaloo, Babaloo, yes I do. She love you, Tiffany. Ooh. Hey, that was a mistake. It won't happen again. My tongue got tied. I feel it in my toes. Uh, I feel it in my brain. Uh, yes, I love a girl named uh, Tiffany. Uh, Sorry, honey, but I can't help it. I love Tiffany. Bruce. Uh, we can only stay for a few minutes. We've got expensive tickets for Muppets on Ice, and it starts at 8. <laughs> I, uh, heard that you and Lorena had a fight in ballet class, and I wanted to make sure you were okay. I'm, uh, really glad you found me. I, I, I want to talk to you. You do? Yeah, I've been, uh, running this through my mind. Actually, rerunning this through my mind. <laughs> and I realized that, uh, Lorena and I, yeah, we're not working out. Uh, Tiff, tick tock, tick tock, big bird hits the ice properly at eight. Just a second, Bruce. What are you saying, Jake? The bottom line is this, Tiff. I'd like to start dating you again, but you have to promise you won't hurt me this time. What? If you promise you won't hurt me, I'll break up with Lorena. Wow, aren't I a lucky girl? Uh, that was sarcasm, right? <laughs> I can't believe you. There's no guarantees in love. Giving your heart means taking a risk. Yeah, well, I took that risk once, and look what happened. You know what, Jake? I made a mistake, and I'm sorry. But I don't want to spend the rest of my life hearing about it, so get over it! Tiff, wait! Tiff! Tiff! So, Jake, how'd you like to see a snuffleupagus in an anti-carriage? Yeah! <laughs> You 
gotta let us be in your ballet recital. Yeah, we want to be with those hot ballerinas. So what's it gonna take to get you to change your mind? I tell you what, let me think about it, and I'll let you know after the recital. <laughs> All right, he's gonna let us know after the recital. I told you he was a reasonable guy. Hey! <laughs> Hey, Lorena. Have you got a check and I, uh, I need to talk to you. Sure, I need to talk to you, too. Oh, uh, why don't you go first? Jake, I really care about you as a friend, but I don't think we're making it as a couple anymore. I know. And I'm sorry, I mean, I, I thought I could make it work. Oh, it's nobody's fault. You tried. I mean, you even took me shoe shopping. Don't forget wearing tights. <laughs> I guess I was just trying to hang on. I... Me too. It's hard letting go. I still want us to be friends, Lorena. Oh, definitely. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah, good evening. I'm Robert Lippin, ballet reviewer for The Times. I heard about your show, and I'm here to critique it. Ooh, a critic. Well, what a surprise. I'm Tony Wicks. Welcome. I hope you enjoy the show. Uh, please, find Mr. Lippin a seat. Okay. <laughs> All right. Wow, Tony. I'm surprised you're being so calm. If he writes a good review, your dancing career could take off. Oh, please, Sam. I, don't, I do this for the love of ballet, not for fame or fortune. Tony, I could only find him a seat in the back. Are you nuts? You ruin my career. Put him up front so he can see me tippy toe to the top. <laughs> Welcome to Romeo Wicks and the Five Juliets. I hope you enjoy the show. Tutu is obviously serious about ballet. So, uh, you want to go out with us? <laughs> well, okay. But only if you change first. <laughs> She's got it. <laughs> hey. No, uh, date tonight? Well, I thought you'd show up. And knowing the effect you have on my dates, I figured, what's the point? Can, uh, can we take a walk? Okay. Jake, I thought you wanted to talk. We've been walking for 10 minutes. What's up? Okay, uh, I wanted to tell you that Lorraine and I split up. Oh. Should I be sorry? No, no, not really. It just wasn't meant to be, you know? We're both cool with it. Great. So is that what you wanted to tell me? Well, uh, no, not just that. Uh, look, look, Tiff, we, we've been through a lot together. Yeah, that's true. And you're important to me, and, and I need you as part of my life. I feel the same way. I mean, you're somebody I can talk to, you, you know, about life and about my feelings, and, and I don't want to risk losing our friendship. Are you saying you just want to be friends? Best friends. Jake, if you want a best friend, get a dog. Huh? I, I thought that you were...
you were going to come out here and say, Tiff, as scared as I am right now, I'm going to risk getting hurt and ask you to get back together. I can't. It would ruin... It would ruin our friendship. You understand, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, sure. I just wish it could be different. Yeah, I'm sorry. Give him more right now. It's just too hard. Not that hard. I love you, Tiffany.